Imagine, if you will, the circus amusement park, life-size. With magic, there is always a trick. Wow. <gasps> impressive. Very impressive indeed. Making the big top disappear. What a great publicity stunt for the new amusement park, Senator. And above all, a great publicity stunt for me. I find your proposal quite intriguing, Mr. Cooper. Surely we'll be in contact with you to work out all the details. After you, Mr. Cooper. Thank you. Your life is hanging from a thread. <laughs> this is Duke Paparazzo with breaking news coming to you live from the Electro City Hall. All concerns and efforts here are focused on Senator Dobbs, his secretary, a Miss Shirley Lindquist, and world-renowned magician Ace Cooper, who are trapped in an elevator that hangs Ace. precariously by one thin cable 24 stories high up in City Hall. What are you waiting for? An invitation to the funeral? Captain, all of the doors are blocked. What? Get out of the way. Blow the door open! Clear this crowd out immediately! Well, do something, Cooper. You're the magician, aren't you? <clears throat> exactly, Senator. A magician. Not an explosives expert. A bomb? Help! Help! Don't advance any further. I am in control of City Hall now. And I warn you, right now, the slightest provocation, and I hit the detonator. And then you can say goodbye to Dobbs. No! Help me! What do we do now, Captain? He's bluffing. We're going in. What? No, don't move. The staircase might be rigged with explosives, too. The elevator goes next. Nobody move! This madman is controlling everything with his computer. Why me? Cosmo, do you read me? You have to get into City Hall's mainframe computer. Hang in there, Ace. I'm on it, man. Listen, mister. What is it that you want from us? I can get you anything you want. Money, a passport, a, a plane out of the country. I want you to return the money, Dobbs. The money you have been embezzling from the funds of the construction of the Circus Amusement Park. What are you talking about? This is totally absurd. You have ten minutes, Senator. After which time, Electro City will have to elect a new leader. <laughs> This psycho is no dummy. He's locked all the systems and he's the only one who can control them. Yes. Hey, Angel, I've got an idea. Um, Senator, I wonder if maybe you could... Are you losing your mind? You don't expect me to give in just to please this crackpot. Time is running out. You should be able to hook me up to Ace now. As you wish, Cosmo. 
Ace, Cosmo here. Hey. Okay, man, I've just introduced a virus into the City Hall's mainframe. The bomber can't see anything on his screen, and he has momentarily lost contact. Meaning? Well, it should take him, like, you know, two minutes maximum to figure out the virus and neutralize it. Cosmo, I've always appreciated your sense of timing. Get ready. Grab onto my cape. Hurry! <clears throat> Miss Lindquist, you should know the hierarchy of City Hall. Oh, I'm so sorry. After you, Senator. Thank you, Miss Lindquist. <laughs> Cowards first. If they think they can outsmart me, they've got another thing coming to them. Just a bit. Thanks, Cooper. Uh, Cooper, not only have you saved a life, but you have just saved... Get out of the way, Dobbs. The bomb's about to go off. Ace, he's already figured out the code to the virus. Miss, hurry up. most harrowing of events, each and every one of the people involved proved his calm and his courage beyond a doubt. But, above all, I would like to extend my enormous gratitude to Ace Cooper. Without his help, I fear that the rest of us might no longer be of this world. Senator, what do you have to say about the allegations leveled at you by the hostage taker concerning certain financial dealings? Unmitigated lies from the mouth of a psychopath, a, a complete madman, desperate for attention. Our financial records here at City Hall are impeccable. Tell us, Mr. Cooper, what happened up there? I'll get you to confess in the end, Dobbs. And this time, no Ace Cooper to save the day. <laughs> I thought I ordered you to get rid of him! Well, that's what I did. I had him fired. That is not at all what I meant when I said get rid of. Cosmo, I owe you one for this. That dude who pulled it off is like a hacker genius. This whole thing stinks. Convinced that Dobbs was hiding something. You mean this is a job for the magician? Mm, could be. Hey, finally I've been trying to reach you. Can you stop by the office? I'll be right there. About two weeks ago, a man came storming into headquarters, screaming about having discovered embezzlement and other dirty dealings. And you think that's our hostage taker? Entirely possible. He seemed right off his rocker. Friedrichs had him thrown out without even questioning him. And what do you know about him? Just that he claims to have worked at City Hall. There you go, Lieutenant. This is the last file of City Hall employees. None of them look like the guy we're looking for. Uh, hey, sorry, Ace. I guess I'm barking up the wrong tree. I might be losing my intuition. Miss Lesage, see if you can find a file on former employees. Yes, here's a file of terminated employees. Hi, my name is Bill Peach, and I'm responsible for computer accounts. That's him. I was right after all. Hmm. That's strange. According to the information we have here, Peach was a model employee. He worked overtime every evening and even on weekends. Seems like City Hall was his whole life. Hey, this neighborhood is really quiet. Yeah. 
We're gonna have to use the silencer. You know, even though I know this guy is a psycho, I get the feeling he isn't all that bad. You seem to forget that he almost had three people killed, including you. Compliments of Senator Dobbs. Let's get out of here. These guys look like they're up to no good. They're coming! Open this darn door! I know them. They're hired assassins. Peach! Too late. It's just a mannequin. Peach outsmarted them this time. What a pity, Mr. Cooper. You're too late. Hey, all of these blueprints. It's the Magic Express. Cosmo's in danger. Angel, Cosmo, come in. Do you read me? Ace, I'm having a system's malfunction. Someone has introduced a virus into my system. Ace, look! Attention all units, there's an out-of-control train speeding down the expressway, heading for Sunset Boulevard. The Magic Express! Bring in the helicopter! <laughs> Angel, what is going on here? Angel, the door, please! Cosmo, I have lost control over the Magic Express's operation system. Angel, open the flippin' door! What? A mad train? What? Peaches on TV? Are you sure? This train is now under my control, and I've directed it towards the circus amusement park. M m my park? That madman wants to destroy my park! Dobbs, if you don't return the money, you and you alone will be responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. This guy is stark raving mad. I never thought he would have gone this far. Senator, I wonder if maybe... Out I of the question! I will not give in to this... psycho. But, Senator, the circus is full of innocent people! Lieutenant Vega, in the back of the helicopter, there are some explosives. Use them to stop the Magic Express. But there are people in that train. I don't care, Lieutenant. You are the only one who can stop the train now. That's an order. Do you understand? Ah! 
If we want to stand a chance of catching up with the Magic Express, we've got to lighten our load. Magic, Magic Force, Force. Reveal the power within! <laughs> oh. He's using my own weapons against me. Show us how you dance, Mr. Cooper. Open the door! Let me help you with that. for your opinion when I need it, okay? Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, man, my head. What happened to me? Are you okay, Cosmo? What ace? Dude, how did you? I got in through the trap door that you use every night to sneak out to the dance club. You knew? Cooper! Angel, access all of your operational functions. Well, Ace. Hey, what's going on with Angel, anyway? Peach must have reinforced the virus. Get out of the way, Cosmo. The only way we can get rid of the stupid virus, Ace, is to reboot Angel's original software, file by file. Okay, I'll try and distract Angel while you look after the computer mainframe. Let's go! Peach! You're not going to get off so easily, Ace. Not a second to lose. So much perseverance. You guys are pathetic. Don't move, Lieutenant. Stop the massacre before it's too late, Peach. You know darn well the Dobbs will never return the money. <clears throat> Don't worry. I can stop this. The remote control. It must have gotten broken in the accident. Come on, you stupid machine. Please, give me a break. <laughs> Why did they return? the money. It's all his fault. His fault! I didn't want to take such drastic measures. What's that, Mommy? <laughs> How did you get back? Angel, hit the brakes! about the money Dobbs has extorted. We'll find a way to sort it out. You can count on me. You should return the money. No! No way! This money is mine! Fine. You'll run the risk of being sent to jail. Well, then do something about it. I have no intention of going to jail. There's only one solution. We have to transfer the money from the fake invoices into another account. I can't believe this. The money's disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? Bingamundo. <laughs> Ten million electra dollars for an association which helps put the unemployed back to work. Good move, Cosmo. I'm sure that Peach would appreciate your kind gesture. You can never fool the magician.